LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus fifteen. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. Lift off. Starlink 4 8. Vehicles switching down range. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Power and telemetry nominal. Carrying our stack of 46 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. A moments ago, we throttled down the engines, reducing the speed by decreasing the flow of fuel to the engine. That's in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic Vehicle pressure. Vehicle supersonic. And we are coming up on max Q in a few seconds here. Max Q. And there's that call out that we've passed through max Q. Now we do have four events coming up in quick succession. The first will be main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, second engine start one, or SES one, and then fairing deploy. Today, we will attempt to recover the first stage uh, on today's mission on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Now, while this is happening, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, which is SES one, or second stage engine start one, that's where the MVEC engine lights up and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. And just a few seconds after that, we'll have fairing deploy. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And great views on your screen. We just saw Miko stage separation, SES-1 and fairing deploy. On your left-hand screen is the first stage, right-hand screen is a view of the NVAC engine. And those visual confirmations mean that we have successfully uh, deployed our fairing halves. And some great views here as stage two heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit. Stage one will complete two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of those nine M1D engines will reignite. That helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters back into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. Then the second burn for the first stage is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn, the center E9 engine, and that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. Now, if you're just now joining us, we've had a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Slick 40 today. Right now, you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9's second stage on the right-hand screen. And that was just a call out for a nominal trajectory on second stage. And today is the 38th launch of Starlink satellites overall, the seventh mission of 2022, fourth Starlink mission of 2022, and the 145th total overall SpaceX launch. Seco one. And we also had Seco one as well as that call out right there. Let us know that we had a good orbit. Stage one is currently making its way back to our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. And you can see those grid fins on your left-hand screen on the first stage. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. And the f Again, we're coming up on that entry burn here in a few seconds. Stage 1 FTS has saved. Stage 1 entry burn startup. 
And we heard the call out, and you can visually see that Stage the... Stage 2 FTS has saved. You can visually see that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Stage 2 continues to follow a nominal trajectory. Great call outs on Stage 2. Entry burn. Stage 1, entry burn shut down. There it is. It's just a 20-second burn, and as you can see and heard, uh, the entry burn has concluded. Next up will be the landing burn, and that'll be the final burn for the first stage as it returns back to Earth. Uh, here are some call-outs for that as we are landing on a shortfall of Gravitas today. Stage one, landing burn. Stage one, leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. And great news, we heard that Falcon 9 has landed, touched down on a shortfall of Gravitas. We also heard, there it is on your screen, incredible view of the vehicle standing Not tall. Reinsertion. Great news overall. We are now awaiting the deployment of our 46 Starlink satellites. Now, as I mentioned before, we won't have live audio or visual confirmation of payload deployment due to lack of ground station coverage. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again soon.